As you can tell, it's easy to have two web browsers open simultaneously. If you wanted to copy and paste something from Facebook into a private message to somebody or actually just surf the internet and get images or links off the internet and copy and paste them into an email, you could do that as well. It'd be really easy to run the two web browsers simultaneously. It'd be easy to have Microsoft Excel open and Microsoft Word open at the same time. One thing I like about Premiere Pro and why I do like to have dual monitors is because if I enable the Mercury Transmit, as you can tell, what's in the program monitor here goes on to the second monitor. Now this is more for the cinematic 21 by 9 aspect ratio. That monitor I can use to edit for clients if they've got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and of course I've got my 4 by 3 monitor in case I get standard definition projects. The portion of the screen where the bins are set up in Adobe Premiere Pro that's all making use of the ultra wide monitor. That's the extra screen real estate you get as opposed to having a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. As you can tell, it's easy to run two programs simultaneously. You could run Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word simultaneously. Here I have Media Express, and you could also at the same time simultaneously go through bins on your hard drive. So it's unique that with these ultra wide monitors, you do get that much extra space. Like I said, as opposed to the old 4x3 aspect ratio monitors, I know some people are going to say you could just take Premiere Pro and After Effects, make them full screen and tab between Premiere Pro and After Effects. And that is true. It's easy to do. But sometimes you want your email open and you might want Microsoft Word open and copy and paste stuff into an email. Or you might want to actually do a Google search while you have another internet browser open and copy and paste images in an email or have Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word open at the same time. So there's reasons to want to run two programs simultaneously and have them both open at the same time, taking up screen real estate. I remember when I got these Hans G monitors, and I was really excited about the high resolution of 1280 by 1024. I got these way back in 2006, but you have to remember, a lot of us grew up with CRT monitors, and a lot of us ran a resolution of... 1024 by 768 and we somehow managed to make things work so you can imagine with these ultra wide monitors how much screen real estate you really have now the 19 and 21 inch crt monitors the old computer monitors you could actually run them at resolution of like 1600 by 1200 you could actually multitask with just one computer monitor but the the text got really small and it was really hard to see the images on the screen back then this looks like it's a an old flat panel CRT monitor, but that is an LCD monitor. You can see the huge bezel on it. I forgot I even had that Etronics, you know, monitor, but that was an LCD, and it it actually was 1024 by 768. Somehow I, I managed to make that work running dual monitors, having Premiere Pro on one, After Effects on the other. I want to say there's things I like about this monitor, and there's things I don't like about this monitor. When I did the unboxing video, I stated I didn't like the fact that it had a third-party power supply as opposed to using a generic power cable. I want to let people know a lot of the monitors today need a third-party power supply as opposed to using a generic power cable. I also wanted to let people know in the unboxing video, I stated that I wished it was a little bit thinner, like maybe half an inch or three-quarters of an inch thinner. That is actually me just kind of being nitpicky, so I wanted to state that in this video. Overall, I like the monitor. I want to let people know there is a little bit of backlight bleed through with it, but I've seen monitors that cost more money that have more of a backlight bleed through issue than this particular monitor. One thing I also want to mention with these dual ultra wide monitors that I bought, when I first hooked them up to the computer, the colors didn't match each other 100% correctly the the settings were identical but it just wasn't matching i actually had to go into the rgb settings to make them match 100 percent it's not a big issue but i've never had that problem running dual monitors before usually right out of the box they match 100 percent i thought that was worth mentioning